man, you know, man, you know, a uh, uh, leopard don't change his spots. And Diddy been doing this for a real long time, bro. He been doing this for a long time. And now another artist, this artist didn't wait 10 years. You know what I'm saying? He didn't wait 20 years. You understand? He waited a year or two after he stopped working with him and saw he didn't get what he was supposed to get. And he said, yo, listen here, man. I'm putting in my claims right now because I'm going to show everybody what really happened, what really went down. It's, it's crazy. When I was reading it, I read the, the whole thing. Shout out um, uh, to uh, Keisha in Kansas City. She sent me the whole the whole documentation, bro. And what I mean sound familiar, how he would get other girls and get girls um, to try to, you know, convince this guy, you know, or, or, or put him in a sexual situation with other girls so he could do whatever he wanted to do with him. And it's, it's, it's just like the situation somewhat with Sarah and uh, her girlfriend and him and John. You know what I'm saying? Bringing girls on to try to convince this other guy to be in a room with another naked man and all his other boots. Yo, it, it all sounds familiar, man. I, I, I read the whole thing, man, and it was crazy. And for the people that don't know what you're talking about, because the lawsuit is new, so, you know, some people still catching up with it. Little Raw, he alleges that, you know, young Miami cousin tried to have sex with him in front of Diddy. Yeah, he went into the bathroom, and then she came into the bathroom and tried to, uh, you know, throw herself on him. He didn't want to have nothing to do with her for whatever reason. And then when he came out the bathroom, she continued to try to do that and try to have sex in, uh, wanted him to have sex in front of uh, Diddy and the rest of the people that was in there. You know, that that's, that's how they do, man. They try to use a girl that you might like or you may think you might like, or they think you might like her or whatever to convince you to lay down your guards with them. So did they do it or did they not? Rodney Jones, Sean Diddy Combs' former employee, has filed a federal lawsuit against him, putting Diddy in the legal hot seat once more. P. Diddy accused of sexual assault by producer Lil Rod. Put a picture full mask. This is a gripping story. Producer Lil Rod, whose given name is Rodney Jones, has now accused Sean Diddy Combs of operating a racketeering enterprise, groping him, forcing him to engage in sexual acts with sex workers, and lacing alcohol for the guests in his home, including underage girls. He tried to put him in some kind of situation like that. They do that all the time in the industry. I want to get into this real quick, man, before we really even get started into this. And it's because something I've seen today. This girl, Tiffany Red, she said that she was filing a claim against Diddy. But it, my man, it touched me crazy, man, because the hurt that I've seen in her voice, in her, her she crying, man, and she worrying about what this dude could do to her and what he has done to her. Man, listen here. I want to let this young lady know, and I know this is not the place for it, brother, but please allow me to say this to her, man. You know what I'm saying? I started this battle long time ago, and the situation is, is that, bruh, we already won. This was some spiritual sh that popped, the spirit of pop the spirit of Big, the spirit of Miss Jones, all the people that he has done wrong, you know, so black, all the people that he has done wrong, bruh, is coming to light. Recently, Jones has come forward, breaking any barriers and exposing the most sinister facts about well-known figures in Hollywood, beginning with Sean Diddy Combs, who is at the center of the problem. Taking this album on has required so much time, um, you know, months and at, at, at a time, 16 hours, 24 hours a day. Um, sometimes, you know, Diddy will request certain works to be done and tell us don't go to sleep until it's done. And, and the truth is we'll be up for days trying to accomplish that. I've tried to 
get my business straight with them on this album, but the truth is they're not playing fair. They they hit me on below the belt on so many situations. Just 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 dealing with this. It's, it's, the contract that they gave me and the offer that they gave me was just disgusting. The the the, the producer fee pennies, and on top of that, these guys are trying to steal my publishing. I can't go for that, so I'm fighting back. He's a fighter, um, but I'm 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 gonna put in this fight. I gotta do it for myself, my rights, and most importantly, my kids. Taking my publishing or stealing it is it's just it's I'm not gonna let that happen. Here's everything you need to know. Now, Gene Deal isn't the only person who's standing by Diddy's victims. Apparently, Rodney Jones is standing by them, too, raising his voice against the bad boy mogul and his illicit actions. We already won this shit spiritual. What we going through right now with these trials and everybody, you know, with this financial situation and everything like that, all that is superficial. That's that. That's the that's the physical part of it. The spiritual part of it was one because big pot, all the people that he did wrong, bro, you understand? They already won the battle where we were supposed to win it at. So now we just going through the physical part of it, man. And I want that girl to know, man, that she ain't got to fear no man. She ain't got to fear him, nobody else, man. According to the lawsuit, which claims Jones lived and traveled with Combs from September 2022 to November 2023, their time together appears in an unsettling light. Jones, who seems to have been emotionally traumatized by Diddy and other Hollywood biggies, says that during this time in the industry, he gathered hours of compromising audio and video footage showing Combs, his Hollywood elites group, and others who were allegedly involved in an assortment of illicit behaviors. Um, doing this situation is not easy. Taking Puff to court, suing him is not easy. I don't have the, the, the monies that it's going to take to fight him in court so i'm just asking you know if you if you in support please the link is in my bio to my gofundme um the, the money we go we go towards my attorney fees and to just make sure i keep my head above water during the process i really appreciate this thank you so much jones has also accused combs of several horrible acts including drinking sexually harassing and threatening her for more than a year Diddy, according to Jones, would also touch his anus, grope his genitalia, and go around naked in front of Jones. Do I think he has? <laughs> There's no, every man possibly is capable. I do. I think he's very capable of doing it. It's in his character. That's who he is. That's what comes with power. That's what comes with arrogance. That's that's what comes with, you know, what makes him, you know, um, power. That's just the selfishness that make you be like that, you know, but with everything that's going on, man, you're looking at um, they dropping them left and right. Um, companies are parting ways with them. Um, all of that's happening right now because he's tarnishing his own image. What I think is just a, it's um, what I call as a character assassination that's going on right now. And of course, there's Cassie's lawsuit as well, claiming almost the same amount of violence and more. Because I interviewed Gene Deal, and he wasn't around Bad Boy when Cassie was around. But he told me that, you know, he did the same thing to Kim Porter. Or you could take it before then, and then you can remember when and when Misa was dating, what, Eric Simon from EPMD? And that was her childhood boyfriend, like, coming up. They was the, you know, lovey-dovey couple. And um, it was back then. He used to, you know, do that with Misa. So, you know, and one thing I always say is... As a man, and as anyone in a relationship, we often go through these kind of things. So I've seen it in friends. I've seen it in him. I've seen fights. I've seen all kinds. I've seen fights between when he have an argument, fight with a female, whatever it may be. I've seen it with my own friends. But sometimes you say, you know, we all go through things, but once you have a sign of doing it over and over and over again, that's when it becomes a problem. You'd be like, so every relationship that you get in, you, you're you violent in them? You know, I was around when, 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 when Cassie was there. I knew Kim Porter before uh, I knew Puff. Um, I met Misa, but, you know, it was a history. When you have a history of the same thing, man, it, it becomes a problem. 
something you 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 do once or twice, you get over. You don't. You, first, you're not supposed to put your hands on a woman's way I was raised. And the only person that really put their hands on women really is people who have men who have feminine traits. So you know, it really takes a coward to put his hands on a woman. So you know, a man is so strong enough. We can just walk away. You don't. You, you can. You can do. There's so many different things that you can do other than get upset, put your hands on a woman. Insecurities. Anytime a man would go out his way to wiretap someone's phone or, or put taps in their homes just to monitor their conversation, that's a sign of insanity. So when you see someone doing that, you can't, you can't, you can, you can, you can imagine everything else they do. What do you think he's gonna do if he found um, her on the phone talking to someone? And and uh, or feels that he, she's cheating on him or somebody sleeping with his girl. What you think he gonna say? Ooh, I caught you. Ooh, I heard this. Now nah, he gonna come in with the. You know, it's gonna be a fight. It's been going on like that with them for years. So usually, when you know this puff was in those kind of violent relationships with his females, they was good. This been going on ever since two, three years. This ain't just something that just happened. This ain't the first fight. It ain't the last fight. You know, yeah, I know this dog. I seen, I seen a lot. I seen him walking with scratches and bruises on his face, and you'd be like, "Who scratched you up, dog? Who scratching you? What you had a fight with a cat? What's going on? You know?" So he put his hands on females, put his hands on producers. I guess that's what the whole name Bad Boy comes from. How you feel about the two victims that came forward accusing Diddy and Aaron Hall of working? When you hear stuff like that, you're not surprised, huh? Not at all. Not at all. Um, I seen the, you know, I had to actually, I had to take a second to really reflect, and I, I wanted to, to, you know, see did I see these kind of things in his actions when I knew him or when I was around him. Did I see him have those bursts of violence? Just not on, you'd be like, he did it. If you've seen that, it was another video. He won some, he just, he just over, over cocky. That's why he got fired from Uptown. He's just over, he's over, uh, what do you call someone who's overly confident to the point to where it's called arrogance, right? He's arrogant. Nothing wrong with being arrogant, but when you when you're arrogant and you do it in spiteful ways, then so when I seen that and I reflect and I'm like, man, I do remember seeing him be or putting or being physically violent towards females. I seen him be physically violent towards um, producers or other record execs. You know, um, this the uh, even artists. Not to forget, the lawsuit makes some very startling allegations one of which is that Combs forced Jones to hire prostitutes and forced him to have unwanted intercourse with them as well as other people. Not just that, Jones and others in the industry claim that Combs served drink-laced drinks to his guests at the parties held at his houses, some of whom were prostitutes and underage girls. According to reports, the complaint also includes screenshots to back up its claims. Now, for those of you who don't know, Diddy has been sued time and again over sexual misconduct. However, most recently, Jones has filed a lawsuit in federal court in New York, identifying himself as a record producer and an ex-cameraman who worked for Diddy for more than a year between September 2022 and November 2023. I apologize to anyone. This video may be embarrassing to um, Let's just jump right into it. Some of you may know me and I mean, not. I'm a music producer who's a writer and musician. Um, different genres. I started in the gospel and jazz and, and R&B and worked my way over to the hip hop side. I've been working on an album. Um, I took a year off straight working on this album. That album is a love album off the grid by Diddy. Um, and it's Grammy nominated right now as we speak. Um, I should be um, celebrating, but the truth is I'm not. Jones also reportedly feels that Diddy was attempting to groom him into having sex, even if the record producer seemed to minimize his efforts as horseplay. But the fact that you did not speak out in the twisted mind of an abuser, you're in agreement 
with their behavior because that's the way they think. And even if you wasn't in agreement with the way they're thinking, well, with the way they get down, they don't fear you going to the authorities. They don't fear you going to anybody and sharing your pain or trying to get justice. Now, let's talk about dude. You got a grown man who is suing Diddy. A grown man suing another grown man for trying to force homosexual actions on him, onto him. Now, this guy, by his own admission, said he lived with Puff in New York, in his homes in New York, Los Angeles, and Florida. At what point, as you're going through the airports or jumping on private flights and getting off, going into the malls or when he leaves to go out on, at what point do you wink to a neighbor and say, oh, you blink, something ain't right? You know, at what point do you blink? I get it. You think he's dangerous. He's a dangerous man. But as a man, at what point do you blink? I, I believe that everybody should be held accountable for their actions. Everybody should be held accountable. Perhaps one accountability ain't, ain't the same as the other because one accountability is more of a, let's say, a, a, um, uh, a, an ethical thing or whatever. And then the other is a criminal thing. So you got one that deserves to go to jail to be held accountable or go to jail or be punished, you know, uh, 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 with some type of uh, uh, criminal penalty and perhaps a civil penalty. And then the other, just uh, by way of a mild scolding, like, yo, you know, at what point do you do you do you speak up? Do you speak out? Meanwhile, Jones has claimed that as part of Diddy's grooming of him, Combs forced him to view a video of Stevie J having sex with another man. However, according to reports, an unidentified adult male celebrity has reportedly claimed to be in the video rather than Stevie J Jones apparently has more accusations though. You see, the man claims that young Miami's female cousin also molested him sexually. The woman allegedly attempted to engage in sexual activity with him in front of members of his staff and Diddy. On top of that, Rodney Jones claims Diddy invited prostitutes to his house, expressing that while he was there, he was drugged and possibly raped. No, remember, remember, remember and people got confused when I said that Ja and him was in the room with two girls, with, with, with Sarah and Sarah's girlfriend. You understand? He was trying to get Ja to go at Jay-Z. So what he did was try to get another girl, you understand, to do something with Ja. I guess, I don't know, they in the room together. So in, they, in, in, in that thing, I know what he was planning to do because I heard the conversation. I knew what was going on. He was trying to get at Ja. So if he got Ja in any kind of uncompromising position, he could force Ja to go at Jay-Z. So that's just a a, 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 a a thing that they use. You get them in a sexual position and a sexual situation with some kind of girl and then maybe have, get them high, get them drunk or whatever like that. He don't know what he's doing. One of the guys step in and now he doing Lil Rod. Now Lil Rod all messed up in the mind because he started off with a girl, but now he end up with a guy. Apart from Combs, the other accused in the lawsuit include Love Records, Sir Lucian Grange, CEO of Universal Music Group, former CEO of Motown Records, Ethiopia Haptimerium, and Combs' son, Justin. According to Jones, every one of these individuals was a part of a RICO enterprise. Moving on, Jones notified Christina Corum about his unconsented encounters, according to the lawsuit. She allegedly disregarded the acts as friendly horseplay and tried to defend them by saying that Diddy was showing that he likes you. As a result, Corum is now facing charges of aiding Diddy 
who is said to have attempted to groom Lil Rod into agreeing to an intimate relationship with the music mogul. Combs is also accused of handing him an exclusive bad boy baseball cap, which the plaintiff claims was a signal to sex workers that Diddy was in Miami and wanted to hire them. According to Jones's claims, Combs not only coerced him into obtaining them, but also engaged in intimate interactions with them. According to the lawsuit, Mr. Jones agreed, and his life has been detrimentally impacted ever since. Simultaneously, according to the court documents, Lil Rod additionally described Diddy as forceful and demanding, saying he consistently made it clear that he has immense power in the music industry and with law enforcement, and that he did not know when to say no, stating that on one occasion in February 2023, Diddy allegedly gave him a drug and made him get into bed with prostitutes. He supposedly woke up feeling disoriented and drained. Added to that, Rodney Jones has charged Diddy with attempting to scare and threaten him with harm if his demands are not fulfilled. In the case, he even cited an incident to back up his allegations. According to him, he had Diddy supposedly handling firearms and bragging about shooting people and getting away with it. And of course, we know how many proofs of such behavior are out there. I seen him be violent to his own self, forget anybody else. I seen him beat his own self up. Wow, what you mean by that? Meaning you putting yourself through so much stuff, you beating your own self up, you bringing yourself down um, with uh, whatever kind of um, things you need at that time, whether they be whether it be alcohol whether it be pills or whatever it is that you need. Sometimes people get addicted to pills. And when they get addicted to pills, you know, some, you know that it alters the ego. All of that kind of stuff, devices. I seen it all, man. You know? And you said that you seen him get physical with his own artists? Meaning like um, producers, more, mainly the hitmen. Maybe mainly his 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 the, the, the producers. Um and what I mean by physical, it'd be like sometimes it might be a physical fight between him and someone else. And you say, you know, wow, you're fighting even with your own artists. You're fighting when you go home. You're fighting with people in your office. You're fighting with your girlfriend. You're fighting with me. You just want to fight everybody, don't you? And that's how some. That's what when you think of that name, it, that might be what he defines bad boy. It's, it's 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 really about that energy. That's all for today. Do share your thoughts in the comments below. For more updates, hit the bell icon. Yeah, I mean, we know Diddy. We know that these types of things are within Diddy's character, and I mean, everything that we've seen come out with Diddy in the past, as far as everything with, um, as far as everything with, um, what's that girl's name? God, Cassie, Cassie. As far as everything that came out with Cassie, you know what I mean. We know, and Diddy settled out of that situation, so we know the truth, you know what I mean? We know the truth about these types of situations, you know? It doesn't take rocket science to add two and two together to say, okay, this happened here, so this is pretty likely that this could have happened here. Do I doubt the things that Rodney Jones is claiming and, and alleging? I don't doubt him, you know what I mean? Am I 100% sure? I'm not sure, I'm not sure. But I don't doubt the claims that he's making that a lot of that probably has a lot of truth to it, you know what I mean? It's probably more true than not true, you know, as far as the things that we've seen with Diddy, you know? And as far as the things that we've seen him have to settle out of, you know, when you're settling, you're basically conceding to defeat, that you have no chance of winning this, that you have to give up. You have to give in. You're conceding to defeat. OK, so when you concede to defeat like that, the truth is obvious. You know, 50 Cent said that he tried to take him out shopping. You know, um, Gene Deal has said many different things, many different stories about uh, Diddy's escapades and Diddy's zesty, you know, zestapades. You know what I mean? His zesty escapades. You know what I mean? So. Gene Deals told many stories about that, like one with Ja Rule, you know, plenty. You know, there's a story about him with Usher, him and Justin Bieber. And we've seen all of these. We know all we know the truth. You know what I mean? We know what is um very likely to be true, you know. 
So as far as Rodney goes, I mean, I can't doubt the things that he's saying. I can't. Everything that's came out in the past adds up. You know, to me, the claims add up with what we've seen to be a part of reality. You know, so that's all I can have to really say about it. The proof is in the pudding. Everything is there. What else is there really to say at that point? When you see everything and it's a part of observable reality, these things are blatantly observable. And we can blatantly see the cases and how these things end up. And, um, you know, things that Diddy's had to give up and said a lot of then you can clearly see the truth of the situation when you really look at it for what it is. You know what I mean? So that's really all there is to it. 